Hello, I'm Dr. Ross Walker and welcome to The Checkup. Hello, Dr. Ross Walker and welcome to The Checkup. I'd like to talk today about one of the major steps forward in the future of medicine, which is regenerative medicine. This is when we, we repair tissue. We, we take tissue and, and take it back to where it was before it became diseased. Now, one of the big things here is gene screening. So that's to screen people for genetic disease to even stop them from getting there in the first place. And that, I, I think possibly at some stage over the next 5, 10, 15 years, you'll go into a gene screening clinic. You'll have the inner part of your mouth swabbed and they'll map out your genes and say, okay, here's where your diseases lie. This is what we have, you need to prevent for, for this particular disease here or there. I think it's a really, really exciting field and, and that's on the way. But happening right at the moment, typically for much less common diseases, is gene therapy. Now, this is really exciting stuff. One of my very best friends is Professor Ian Alexander, who's the Professor of Genetics at Westmead Hospital. He's done some seminal work with his team. So this is a worldwide team working together on, on a condition called spinal muscular atrophy. And spinal muscular atrophy, these poor little kids are born with this genetic defect where often they're dead by the age of 18 months where their muscles just don't work and they, they get respiratory paralysis and they can't breathe. What Ian's team has done has developed this gene therapy where they have this viral vector that's introduced into, into the, the body and the viral vector goes into the person's genetic makeup, changes the gene so that these kids no longer have spinal muscular atrophy. And they've got some early pilot work showing these kids are cured from their spinal mus muscular atrophy. We're talking about a terminal disease that's now being cured by gene therapy. And they're, they're moving from gene therapy to other, other gene therapy for these sort of rarer conditions to other conditions. And who knows, at some, some stage in the next 10, 15, 20 years, we may be able to cure many, many diseases using gene therapy. Then there's something that's been around and, and researched for the last 15, 20 years. And I still think for the vast majority of diseases hasn't reached the promise that it showed initially. And that's stem cell therapy. Stem cell therapy is standard therapy for some blood disorders but not for many other conditions. In my field in cardiology, we've used stem cell therapy for a number of years and we've had some reasonable benefits, but no, no groundbreaking stuff. They're talking about stem cell therapy for many eye diseases, for Parkinson's disease, possibly for Alzheimer's disease, for, for diabetes, for many of the inflammatory bowel diseases. Um, so, so stem cell therapy, I still, still think shows promise, but it's not there yet. Then there's also tissue engineering, which is basically using biologic scaffolds to create new organs. People who have, say, for example, kidney failure or diabetes to, to create new kidneys, new pancreases for these people. And there's a whole lot of things going on with the exciting field of tissue engineering as well. And, and just generally the use of biomaterials for different things. And then finally, the whole concept of bionics, which is creating new limbs and, and allowing para paraplegics to walk again, bionic eyes, bionic fingers. So, so all of these things are working as well. And so the field of regenerative medicine is just absolutely uh, booming at the moment. And I think over the next 15, 20 years, we'll look back at what we did in, in the year 2020, 2021, 2022 and say, that was pretty barbaric stuff, how doctors used to practice, because this is the way we do it now. That's the checkup. We'll talk to you next week.